KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you how I make my little pulled pork pies. But we need some pulled pork first. If you haven't tried a pulled pork pie before, you don't know what you're missing. This is so simple to do. First thing you need to do is make some pulled pork. Go back, watch my recipe, how I do my slow cooker. Coca-Cola pulled pork. Perfect, perfect meat for this little recipe. Okay, and I did say in that video that I made several dishes out of that. I actually made enchiladas with it. It was awesome. You can't eat pulled pork every night of the week, but anyway. So, here's my leftover pulled pork. We need to make this nice and juicy again. Still has a fair bit of uh, moisture to it, but we want a nice little gravy. So, simply just add your pulled pork into that pan. I've got that on a very medium-ish heat, low to medium. We don't want to fry this up too hard. We want to bring this up to temperature nice and slowly. So just add as much or little pulled pork as you want. I ended up with uh, extras even after I made these pies and it does taste great. A little bit of diced onion, just left over from another recipe. So around about half an onion I've used there. A little splash of water, probably about a quarter cup. Don't need a lot, we just want a little bit of moisture there. I'm gonna add in around about half a cup, maybe a little bit more of that, of just a frozen mixed veg. Use a mixed veg of your choice. Put the lid on, let's steam this pork up and get it nice and juicy again. Leave that for maybe, I don't know, six, seven minutes or so. Just have a look and double check the moisture content of what we are creating. It's looking pretty good to me. Okay, making uh, your own pies, of course, is nothing more satisfying. So here I've got a packet gravy that I've made up. It's just a beef gravy. Put the powder in, put the water in, give it a little bit of heat, a little bit of moisture. I'm just going to pour that in and that's going to be the nice little gravy that's going to go along. These pies have got a little bit of sweetness to them because of the Coca-Cola, but we also want a bit of savoury. So therefore the gravy, some freshly ground black pepper, that can go straight on as well, as much or little as you like. I hope you sort of gave it a good doseful. And now it's time to make the pies. So what I do, I mark my pastry out, or cut my pastry out using a predetermined little dish there that is going to give you the base. Cut the lid out as well, just like that. How easy is this? And I like playing with pastry. And this year with uh, La Nina happening, well, we're not getting the temperatures that we normally do. And that suits me fine because I can create more and more little dishes like this. Okay, so we're going to put our base down. These are a little non-stick pan, so you don't need to worry about greasing them or anything. If your pan is not non-stick, well, put a little bit of uh, butter or a little bit of oil on there. We're going to rough up the edges with a fork, like I'm doing there. And that's going to give it what they call in cabinet making a key, so everything will stick together. Add in the pulled pork, give it a good generous amount like I'm doing right there. Gravy's in there, everything's in there. Put your lid over the top. Remember, remove the paper or the plastic. It doesn't taste good. Oh, I've tried, believe me. All right, so let's crimp the edge of these pies down one last time using the back of a fork, just like that. And it's also going to give it a real pretty look when they're finished. So there we go, just give that a bit of a crimp. Get your knife, about three holes in the top, maybe four, and that's gonna let the steam out. Okay, very, very simple. I'm then gonna brush these with a little bit of egg wash. That's an egg with a little bit of water in there. Just brush those across the top, and these are gonna come out so fluffy and so golden. They're just magnificent. Right, off they go into the oven, for about 25 minutes, 180 degrees. It don't take long at all. Remember, all we're doing is cooking the pastry off and how good do they look. All right, KP's pulled pork pies. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I'd love to see you try and make this recipe at home. It is so easy to do. If you like this video, hit that like button. Gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. We're trying to get the name of KP's kingdom out there. Leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. Hit that notifications bell, you'll be notified every time a new video goes up. More importantly, you want to learn some more of my little tricks and ideas that I do, you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button, you'll never miss another one of my videos again. Alright, 
I've eaten these. I know how good they taste. And I want you to try them as well. I will catch you next time. Bye.